All right, we are back in Visual Studio again and continuing with what we built last time. And just before we start, I would like to show you uh, another way to write the programming, the shader programming part. And that is using uh, a string uh, literals in C++. So as you can see here, we have to write our shader programming this way, which is a little bit difficult to read and write and maintain so in order to fix that we can use string literal in C++ adding R in the beginning and quotation mark and parentheses and put our code in between this way is much easier to read and write and maintain all right so continue with what we built last time we draw our, our first uh, triangle and now we want to continue with drawing, for example, a uh, square or rectangle. And one way to do this is to create two different triangles and put them together so they become rectangle. So one way to do this is to draw two triangles and put them together so they become a rectangle. And uh, just to show you how it's done, so this is our first triangle that we draw. I'm going to comment it out. And these are the vertices for a rectangle or a, a, a rectangle or square. So what we do here, we draw two triangles that they have a common line uh, overlapping. And uh, just to show you how it's done, if I run the program now, I'm just gonna get uh, one of the triangles because in our draw function here, and I'm just passing three indices here, but now because we have six indices, I have to change this to six. Then it's gonna draw all the vertices here. Yeah, so now as you can see, I'm drawing uh, six vertices. So this is uh, this is okay if you don't have a very big complex models yet because OpenGL is mostly using triangles so this is gonna cause uh, a lot of overhead in the future so to avoid that we have uh, another solution another way to do this so I'm going to comment out this one and continue with creating it another way so to fix this problem we can uh, define different points or vertices that we need to create uh, uh, a rectangle. So, so these are vertices for the top right and bottom right, bottom left, top left. And we just need to assign some points, uh, the order of uh, drawing these vertices so in which order we would like to draw these vertices right so these are the order that i want to draw first triangle which is zero okay top right and then one bottom right and then number three is zero one two three is top left so this is the order that i create the first triangle and the same second triangle, I would do it in this order. Uh, one, top right, then two, bottom left, and uh, top left. Okay, now here I would like to explain how this one works. So as you can see here, we have indices that we draw the first triangle and the second triangle and they are sharing some points which is a common practice at OpenGL to, to optimize and reduce memory usage compared to the first method we used. So I start from here, we start from zero and zero is the top right. So if I, if I start drawing here, if I draw from top from uh, zero, which is top right, I create a point here, top right. And then we have 
one which is bottom right and then we have three which is top left top left so we created the first triangle here and then we have uh, start from one which is bottom right so we sh share this one and then we have number two uh, zero one two which is bottom left and then we have number three three which is top left so now we created these points or vertices and then we got the square and they are sharing some common points for example here and here The solution for this problem is to use EBO or element buffer object, which is a buffer similar to VBO that stores indices that OpenGL needs to uh, use in order to draw vertices. And the first thing I'm going to do is to uncomment this section and then go all the way down here and create an integer EBO that stores the index of this buffer uh, i can just put it out there and then i'm going to uncomment this section as well okay so we need to uh, similar to vbo we need to create the buffer and assign an index to it and then bind the buffer or ebo to gl element array buffer and similar to VBO, we also bind the EBO and copy of indices into the buffer with GL buffer data. And the only difference, as you can see here, is we in for, for VBO we use GL array buffer, and for EBO we use GL element array buffer. And here we pass the the size of vertices. Here we pass in size of indices. We passing vertices here we pass indices and this is also this the same gl static draw and then we bond then we bind the buffer okay so far so good now uh, now all we need to do here is to remove gl draw arrays and replace it with gl draw elements so i'm going to comment this out and uncomment this one and here we just pass in gl triangles six indices and unsign integer and start from zero okay lo let me explain this one in more details so the first element is gl triangles is the primitive that we need to pass in and we tell opengl to draw uh, triangles uh, of um, triangles of the three vertices then the next part is the number of uh, indices which are which they are type of integer as well right so the, uh, how many of the indices we have here we have six and the type is integer and this is the offset or um, the offset we don't have any offset here so this is zero okay so yeah, this is it. So let's run the code and see what happens now. Perfect. Now we have a perfect uh, rectangle using uh, EBO. By default, OpenGL fills the two triangles and put them together this way. But if you want to see them as a wireframe mode, uh, we can use uh, GL we can use GL um, polygon mode. I'm gonna uncomment this. And in GL polygon mode, we have uh, two parameters or two primitives. The first parameter says that I want this one to apply to back and front of the triangles, and the second one says I want to I want the open gear to draw the lines. Uh, as default, this is fill. So when I run this, this, 
the default mode, but if I want to see the lines, I can just type line here. And then you will see my rectangle or triangles drawn by lines. Okay.